Hello and welcome to my screencast on DeliverPoint 2010. What we're going to be covering inside this screencast is how DeliverPoint 2010 can help solve a real world business problem. And you'll notice inside this slide that I have uh, just really a uh, site collection, very, very simple site collection. Now, with inside your company, you can have many site collections, perhaps per location or, or per department. So uh, you can see that this one on my screen is for the sales. Um, department we may also have finance, HR, engineering, etc. Now um, it's going to be up to perhaps the SharePoint team to uh, to actually develop um, each site collection and maybe also the, uh, the first few tiers of the site collection. But eventually we're going to get down to sort of this level. So un underneath the uh, the UK team site there, we're going to have um, salespeople actually responsible for creating their own team sites. And if they create their own team sites, then they're essentially um, re um, responsible for assigning permissions to people so who should be able to read those team sites, who should be able to uh, contribute towards those team sites and who can manage them and so on. And it's not just the team site that we have to worry about, it's the content within inside the team site. So each team site is made up of lists and libraries, may also have um, document workspaces and meeting workspaces, blog sites etc. And, uh, and, and mainly it's also going to have uh, folders and items and document libraries can now hold millions of items and as per um, asking uh, SharePoint lists. So um, we're perhaps going to find a user doesn't just necessarily have the same level of permissions throughout the entire team site and all of the lists and the list items within inside that team site. There's going to be a mixed bag of permissions that have been assigned to individual documents, folders, lists, list items, etc. So it's a big job for site owners to, to manage these permissions. And uh, you can imagine that each site collection can contain thousands of sites. So we're talking about a big job to, uh, to, to rely on the SharePoint administrators to, uh, to, to manage these permissions. Really, they should be educated down to the, uh, to, to the site owner. Now, what you'll notice inside SharePoint is I have a, a team site opened. It's called SharePoint. And if I choose the Site Actions menu, I'm going to uh, navigate down to Site Settings and show you what your site owners have as far as tools out of the box are concerned for, for managing these permissions. If I go to users and groups, you'll see that we, uh, we have a list of people who actually uh, have permission to the team site. Um, it doesn't tell us what permission they have at this stage, it just tells us what people in domain groups have, have permissions. In order to actually find out the permissions, uh, we can do that by choosing site actions and site permissions. And this lists, um, again, everybody or, or has a list of people that have uh, permission to the site, um, but these are just the accounts that are assigned the permission directly. So you'll notice, for example, there's me, Brett, dp slash Brett, and it says that I'm a user with limited access. However, I have actually do have contribute permissions, um, which is granted via the SharePoint members group, and that's something that's not that obvious, so uh, we can uh, we can go back to um, the site settings again and click onto people and groups, and you'll notice if if I navigate down to uh, uh, SharePoint members that Brett is a, a a member of that group and therefore has got contribute permissions, and we can double check this also with um, one of the, uh, the the new introductions to uh, SharePoint 2010, which is the check permission control. So if I click on the check permission control and enter Brett and choose check now, sure enough you can see that I have limited access but I also have contribute permissions and these are all the permissions that I receive. So that wasn't obvious um, by looking at this list of site permissions. I'd have to know who is a member of each group. Now there is another user that I want to pick up on here and his name is Phil and, uh, and Phil doesn't even display in this list of users. If I was to navigate back to site settings and people and groups and under SharePoint members we still don't see that Phil is a member. So as a site owner I ask you how is it that we can actually determine what level of permissions Phil has or even to know that Phil has any permissions in the first place. Well here I'm going to uh, once again Go back to site settings and under site permissions, use the check permission control 
and I'll try and leave this blank and hit check now and you'll notice that it doesn't allow me to do that. I do have to enter a person's name. So if I enter Phil and then hit check now, sure enough it returns Phil and says that Phil has contribute permissions via the SharePoint members group. But SharePoint didn't tell me that. Well, I went into the SharePoint members group and I couldn't see Phil. The reason why he wasn't displayed is because he's actually a member of a domain group and that domain group has permissions assigned to it by our SharePoint members. And this is kind of the done thing for uh, this is the done thing for um, SharePoint and assigning permissions. Typically people will be members of domain groups and then those domain groups will be assigned permissions via a SharePoint group. So uh, I have no way of determining that, that the Phil actually did have permissions assigned to a, a domain group. And I have several domain groups here, and I don't know which one he was assigned permissions to. So as a site owner, we have no idea um, which group he's a member of. We'd have to then turn back to the IT department and ask them to tell us which domain groups uh, Phil is, in fact, a member of. But, but remember, if, if we didn't know that Phil had permissions to this, this site, we'd have no way of, of knowing at all. Uh, it's only because I told you that you knew that Phil had a certain level of permission. To this team site. So using DeliverPoint, I'm going to come down to discover site permissions. Now one thing I can do is, is filter out on a per user basis just like I did with, uh, with, with the check permissions control that comes with SharePoint now, but I can also leave this blank. And if I leave it blank and hit next, then we actually now get a full report of everybody who has permissions to the team site, as well as the permissions that they receive and how the permission was granted in the first place. So we can see Phil is in fact in the deliver point list. He has contribute permissions to the team site and if I expand the SharePoint members group we can actually visibly see that he was a member of the deliver point developers group uh, and, and that's been assigned permissions via SharePoint members. And actually either remove his permissions or assign them to somebody else if, if that's needed. It doesn't stop there either. We can, uh, we can drill down right to the list level or, or list item level. So navigating back to SharePoint, I can go inside a list and from the uh, from the custom commands inside the uh, list ribbon you'll see there's a discover list permissions and I can do the same thing for the list in there as well um, so this time if I wanted to find out what permissions Phil had to the list I could actually enter Phil's name and hit next alternatively I can also just build draft permissions so if I just wanted to find out for example, who has contribute permissions, that can be done too. Now the same thing can be done on list items and in folders. Um, as well as actually reporting on the permissions at object level, we can do the same thing for the entire farm. So notice that here is a deliver point dashboard, and if I was to hit the drop down for the view, and go to the uh, to the account centric view. I can actually find out everything that Phil has permissions to. So by expanding uh, Phil's name here from my results, I can see instantly that he has permissions to two web applications, and then I can start drilling down into each site collection. And this shows me all of the different sites that that Phil has permissions to. And it also shows me which sites have unique permissions and which ones have inherited permissions. Okay, so that's just part of deliver point. Um, being able to report on the permissions and also being able to copy permissions from one user to another or transferring permissions or even deleting permissions is going to be a great help to your organization um, and hopefully save you uh, a lot of time um, whereby your users will spend all of this time and effort trying to actually uh, find out what permissions people have. Okay, thanks for listening.